Hello friends. In part 1, we have seen about equivalence partitioning. And part 2, we will be going to cover boundary value analysis. As we had seen, what do you mean by the equivalence partitioning? We would like to see what do you mean by the boundary value analysis. I can say that boundary value analysis is nothing but it is the extension of equivalence partitioning. The values at the extremes, start end values or lower upper end values of such class are as boundary values. So in equivalence partitioning, we will be having the class and uh, in that class, there will be the lower value as well as the upper value or we may say that the starting value and the end values. So starting and the end values, that will be the boundary values and Analyzing the behavior of the system using such values is called boundary value analysis. So, in short, we would be going to call it as BBA. Boundaries, extreme values of lower bound and upper bound of the range are given. It is widely recognized that input values at the extreme ends of input domain cause more errors in such system. Sometime there is a confusion the which one is the end value or which one is the start value and that we will be going to overcome by using the boundary value analysis. We will be getting the benefits. We will be going to see that the errors occurs at boundaries of input domain. Boundary value analysis testing techniques is used to identify errors at boundaries rather than finding those exist in center of input domain. Boundary value analysis is next part of equivalence partitioning for designing test cases where test cases are selected at the edges of the equivalence classes. As I have said that this will be the extension part or extended to the equivalence partitioning. Now here I would like to elaborate the term BVA. Value considered for boundary value analysis. What will be the value that we will be going to consider for BVA? Upper boundary, we can say that the limit, upper limit, lower boundary or lower limit, upper boundary plus 1 and the lower boundary minus 1. So that will be the our boundary values and we will be going to see what will be the I can say that the input and the output for these particular values. So input values the upper boundary and the lower boundary plus 1 and minus 1. So that will be there. So you can see that the values in between lower and upper bound that will be the valid values whereas the values beyond the upper and lower boundary that will be the invalid values. So we will be going to see these things with the help of the formulas. So formula here we can have the formula. Suppose our uh, I can say that the class of 1 to 1000. So to find out BVA boundary values. So we will be having the N that is the I can say that the 999 to 1000 and in between we can say that n minus 1 so 1 minus 1 that will be the 0 as well as the n plus 1 that will be the 1001 so that will be the I can say that this is the boundary values for the analysis another way we can have uh, the formula that is we will be having the minimum and maximum value so we will be having the boundary values that is the valid one that minimum minimum plus 1 minimum minus 1 as well as maximum, maximum plus 1, maximum minus 1. So we can say that here we will be get the valid and invalid values. So we will be going to see these things with the test cases. Now here we are going to discuss the same problem which we had discussed in the equivalence partitioning. We will be having to test 1 to 1000. I can say that the uh, values and in this case the test cases for input box accepting the numbers between 1 and 1000 using boundary value analysis. So we are having the lower limit as a 1 whereas the upper limit as a 1000. So test cases with test data exactly as the input boundaries of the input domain value 1 and value 1000. 
test data with values just below the extreme edges of input domains values 0 and 999. We would like to have the certain example so that we will be clear with the idea that concept of the VVA uh, boundary value analysis right VVA test cases for test box where text box has minimum character limit is 4 and maximum character limit is 10. So we will be going to say which one is the valid and which one is the invalid. So here you can see that VVA so I will test it for the values 4 for the lower limit, 10 for the upper limit, 11 for the upper limit plus 1 whereas the 3 for the lower limit plus 1. So this will be giving me the boundary value analysis for the given problem. Another example which we can say that that uh, boundary value analysis test cases for text box which has fixed input size the 5 characters so it may not be the less than 5 or may not be the greater than 5. So we will be having the test cases that is 5 uh, that uh, here the 3 uh, test cases uh, 5 that is the upper and lower limit 4 lower limit minus 1 6 upper limit plus 1 and here the references which I have referred for this presentation. I hope you have understood the boundary value analysis as well as the equivalence partitioning technique. Thank you very much.